He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the eight yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven go. yards on first down, that fits the bill. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. Here's Coleman. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Now Ryan on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Coleman now. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Making the tackle there, Corn Elder. This is how offensive coordinators earn their money. He throws ahead of the curve after first down. Got seven yards first down play, but then you get stuffed there on... And that's caught inside the 30. They chalk that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Okay, third and short, the mindset of the defense, probably playing the run first. But if you're playing any type of pass coverage, tight coverage, press coverage, and offenses often convert their routes at that point and go farther downfield, and that paid off in a big way for them on that one. A big time catch downfield. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. This is Coleman. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And I give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Mohamed Sanu, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Trying to lay one up deep. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. 
the interception. Here's Ryan. Sunu with a grab over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they get the three, increase their lead to close out the half. Excellent way to end a drive. Go into the locker room with a little bit of extra momentum after adding three to their total. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs him up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. The putter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part went to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. A really nice gain of 25 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down is Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. 
And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack. Taken down at the two. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. to him running left and he goes backwards on this one losing yardage to the seven they call that a loss of six yards and it's third down now McCaffrey and he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Another stop on third down, and this defense still hasn't allowed a touchdown to this point. On fourth down, Newton. And that is going to be incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate. to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brand, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off near the 26. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. First down. And his throw is incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league. Totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes you know those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Here's Newton. 
And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Devin Funches, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gano now to add the extra point. This time, the extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Gano out to kick this one away. Now Hardy on the return. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. And now running right through it. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. Now that's the kind of return that warms the heart of a special teams coach. He'll be pushing us next time, Brandon, to make sure his guys are introduced in the starting lineups. These guys have such an influence on every game. The unsung heroes, remember, they have their own meetings, their own practice time, heck, their own spot on the bench in order to be ready to play each and every week. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. Wide open receiver complete. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Coleman. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl Luke Kinkley that picks it. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offense coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more, but a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. Now Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Newton on first down. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Hey, hey. 
They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. And the Falcons going to use another timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and goal from the one. going to get it running right and he is in touchdown Carolina a great effort there taking it in from a yard out and the Panthers they're just an extra point away now from taking the lead and it's no good he missed it and the game remains tied oh boy So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Here's Ryan. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Dump off now to Hill. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Ryan to throw. And this one brought in by Sanu. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. Caught by Sanu. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Here's Ryan. Oh, they have had no answer for this connection all night long. They just have to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. They'll come up with split backs in the backfield. And he just clocked it. But the clock wasn't even moving. Well, that's one you don't see very often. A wasted down. So it's all up to the other Matty Ice. Matt Bryant now. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win, and this one is no good. He missed it, and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one, and I don't think this was blocked. 
That's about as bad a miss as you can have. started all even as the kicks away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes a downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. And it's been loud in here so far. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. You got to remember, because now that we're in overtime, mistakes get magnified. So you got to walk that line between being aggressive and being careful because that was a dangerous throw right there. You obviously could not have an interception in this spot. It nearly was an interception. He's lucky to get that one back. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Here's Newton now on second down. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Twenty-five yards, the pick up there, and also a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. From the red zone now, Newton. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with